Welcome back to my reloading bench, everyone. If you're interested to see my alternative to the McDonald's straw mod to increase the accuracy of my RCBS Charger Master, stick around. Like I said, welcome back to my reloading bench, everyone. Before we get started, I do want to thank all my subscribers and commenters out there. I do appreciate all your feedback and comments. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to get more content like this, and make sure you turn on the little bell icon to get notified when I post a new video. So without further ado, let's get to today's video. Now, as you guys can probably tell by the looks of my reloading bench, I'm deep into a reloading session, but I thought I would stop real quick to show you guys a new tool that I bought, show you how I use it, why I bought it. You guys can draw your own conclusions. Today's tool that we're going to talk about, like I mentioned in the intro, is a reducing insert for the RCBS Charge Master. If you guys aren't familiar with the RCBS Charge Master, it's basically an automated power dispenser. You type in a number, it dispenses the amount of powder that you select. If you're familiar with this at all, you're going to be aware that this thing will frequently overthrow. It's difficult with extruded powders to get a consistent throw. If you guys are familiar with this at all, there's a common thing online that's called McDonald's Straw Mod. You cut a section of straw out and put it into the end of the tip to get rid of the thread so you don't drop four kernels all at the same time and overthrow your charge. I really wasn't a fan of this and so I was looking on eBay and I'll throw some pictures up on the screen as we go along throughout the video so you can get a closer look at what the insert actually looks like. But I will tell you, I purchased this off of eBay. I actually found it in a couple forums I was looking at as an alternative to the McDonald's Straw Mod. Now, if you're not familiar with McDonald's Straw Mod, again, you can go search it. Um, basically, you stick a section of, str of straw about that far into your RCBS dispensing tube. It will try and reduce the number of hang-ups you get um, with your extruded powders and to throw a more consistent charge, or at least that's what everyone does it for. So this insert, if you're looking at it on your screen, is a little bit different. It actually further reduces the size, and as it further reduces the size, it's going to slow down the rate at which your dispenser dispenses. So if you're one of those people that thinks that they have to load a charge every 45 seconds or 15 seconds, then this might not be the tool for you. So as you guys can kind of see, it's about three quarters of an inch long, and I'll show you how to insert it. He will ask you to measure the dimensions of your tube, but I think anymore he actually just puts them a certain dimension. I'll pull out my calipers real quick, and I will tell you that this one has been milled down to 308, 311 is what I actually look to see what mine would uh, this would actually take. So if this is too small and it's loose inside your dispensing tube like it is for mine, he recommends to put a little bit of Teflon tape around it. Then you can just insert it in there and it'll fit nice and tight. I'd put a link in the description box below guys, but what I will tell you is just go on eBay and search for RCBS Charge Master Reducing Insert. Now he offers two different ones. There's just a Charge Master Reducing Insert and this is the one with the extra reducing sleeve. So the extra reducing sleeve is going to further slow down your dispense rate, but what everyone seems to be claiming, at least in the forums that I saw that we're talking about this part, is it will actually increase a little bit more the accuracy of your thrower, I should say it will increase the consistency of your throw powder charge. I'm just going to show you how to put this in real quick, and I'm going to throw some charges for you, and then I'm going to end the video. So guys, we've changed camera views here. We're going to do our best to show you this. So again, we've got our insert. Now, like I said before in the... Uh, this smoothly slides in there. So we don't really want this to fall out when we're actually dispensing powder. He recommends is take a little bit of Teflon tape. And honestly, I've done this once before just so I could uh, make sure that I had a clue what I was doing, or at least look like I had a clue what I was doing. Just take a single wrap around is all I did. That's all I needed. So just a single wrap around, tear it off. Teflon tape's usually pretty benign. So I really don't think it's going to affect the powder or anything else, but I would, you know, clean the end off so it's not, you know, it's really not exposed to your powder at all anyway. So as you can see, this is what it's going to look like when we put it in, guys. Not Nothing real fancy, it's just Teflon tape wrapped around it. And then we're going to take that and then we're going to insert it. And those are threads, so just real gently. Screw it in there to give you guys a quick close-up kind of what it looks like. That's what it looks like when it's installed, so it's not sticking out very far. And uh, we'll throw some powder in there, and we'll uh, give you guys a quick look to see exactly uh, how much it slows it down. I really don't have a, a clue. I don't, I don't know if I'll throw a timer in the video or what I'll do, but I'll figure something out so you guys can get a reasonable idea. I will quickly say that I've already calibrated my 
my uh, dispenser for the day. It's been running for probably a good two hours now for warm up time, just so it's all good and ready to go. I'm mean, spoiler alert for the channel. If you guys are a normal viewer of the channel, you can obviously see what the next thing I'm loading is. You can be excited or disappointed, but this video will probably post before the loads for this post. But I thought I'd record this video as we were going along. We're going to dispense our powder. Guys, like I said, our demonstration powder for today is IMR 4350. This is an extruded powder that would normally be something that you'd have common overthrows with. And so you guys are going to learn how this thing actually does. So guys, a little something I usually do before I start loading, just so you guys can see. Um, I have 40 grains of check weights in there. We're going to be dispensing somewhere around 40 grains today. So 39 and a half to like 41 and a half. So 40 is going to be a good starting point to make sure that we're, uh, we're right there. And our scale reads 40. Just to give you guys a little bit of insight, uh, you can kind of see the Hornady scale on the screen. Uh, I do usually double check my loads on a second scale. And uh, if they agree, then I use it. If they don't agree, then I start over or make them agree. And so our Hornady scale, though you probably can't see it on the screen, agrees with our 40 grains. So we're going to start loading and put our check weights away. Side note, I always recommend you guys have check weights. Nothing better than a chunk of metal to know whether or not you're right or not. So guys, here we go. We're going to enter 39.5. Enter. Dispense. So those of you who are used to seeing one of these in action, you'll you'll definitely notice that, that was pretty slow comparative to uh, usually what it, it throws. So, but we'll see what happens here. Do we get 39 and a half? You have to wait for things. So RCBS says 39 and a half grains, just what we were hoping for. And Hornady agrees, 39 and a half grains. So we're going to use this charge, guys. I'll show you a couple more of these, then we'll probably get done. Um, obviously, the first time I had the dispensing tube really wasn't primed, and so it took a little extra time. So we're going to, it's stable, we're going to do another dispense. And there, there are software programming changes you can to make this get a little closer to the target before it slows down. But, um, you guys can kind of see on my setup. I have a separate, I have a separate shelf that I have this mounted on, so it doesn't shake. And so I seat bullets as I'm going along. I'm seating it, letting the next one charge. And at least without the insert in here, I really have never been able to keep up. So we said it's a perfect 39.5 grains again. We'll go to Hornaday's backup scale, see what it says. It says exactly 39 and a half grains. Thirty-nine and a half grains. So that's beautiful music to everybody's ears. Still says 39 and a half grains. Oh, Hornady says 39.6. Pulled one grain out. Now Hornady says 39.5. We're back on our RCBS scale. 39.5. So we're going to use that charge.
Mercury, 9.5 grains. Look at that. And Hornady agrees, 39.5 grains. Now, guys, if I had filmed the last one, you'd have seen me go back and forth six times to try and make these things agree and, and get the dispensing correct. So, so far, my five use thing here, I'm uh, pretty impressed. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments section. So guys, risk boring you guys tears anymore, I will tell you. The guys in uh, in Ohio that's making these, um, again, RCBS Charge Master Reducing Insert with Extra Reducing Sleeve is what my description was. They have one that has without the Extra Reducing Sleeve. It probably speeds it up a little bit more. I'm doing for accuracy, not speed, and if I can not have to uh, have any overthrows, I'm certainly interested in that. So, so far, I'm pretty impressed. Um, if I have any changes, I might make another video and update uh, to this one, but... For today, I just want to uh, thank you guys for watching and sticking around to the end of the video. If you like the content, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. As always, guys, I have more content on the way. Lots of new stuff coming. Uh, as you saw, I had a whole bunch of brass prepped on the table here, and it's gonna uh, we're going to fill that today, I hope, or at least over the next few days, and have the next few range reports get loaded up uh, and ready to go. So I hope you guys like today's content. If so, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the whole video. Stay safe and small groups to everyone.